Now today we're going to be working on computing for the percentile of a given distribution given by the raw data and the mean and the standard deviation. So for the first problem, we are given the scores of Mr. Brown's statistics class and there are 25 students who took the test. And the grade distribution is as follows and we are also given the uh, stem plot of the distribution which makes the work a lot easier because now it's arranged from least to greatest. So when you're working with percentile using raw data or ungrouped data, it's always important that you rearrange your data from the smallest value up until the highest value and the stem plot is giving us that distribution. So this means this particular student scored 67, this student scored 72, this student scored 82 and this student scored 86. So this is how we read and uh, analyze stem plot that would work for us in computing for the percentile of the distribution. Now if we're working on percentile, percentile, it means if this is our distribution and this is your percentile, that means you scored or you are placed on this particular distribution wherein your score is the same as or lower than the scores of all the individuals in this particular distribution. So that's basically what percentile means or basically how you are ranked um, based on the individual in a certain group. Now for this particular distribution, John, scored 72. So what will be John's percentile if he's score or yeah he scored 72 in this statistics test. Now by looking at the stem plot 72 place placed him um, in this particular position wherein there's there is one student who has a score lower than him which is 67 so to compute for the percentile it means one out of the 25 student scored lower than john so that would be its percentile so to compute for that we simply divide one out of 25 and using our calculator one divided by 25 is going to give us 0 0.04 which means four percent of the students in that class scored the same or lower than John, which is here, only one student scored lower than him, which is 67. So John's percentile is 0 0.04, which means four percent of the students who took the test scored the same or lower than him. So that is how we interpret percentile. Now if we're going to compute for the percentile of Mary, Mary who scored 93 will have a percentile of 24 out of 25 because Mary um, is the highest scorer and there are 24 students in the class so that means there are 24 students who scored lower than, him, than Mary so we're going to divide 24 and 25 to get her percentile and 24 divided by 25 is going to give us 96. So her percentile rank is 96 or 0.96, which means 96% of the students scored lower or the same as Mary because that's her percentile rank. So 96 percentile. So 
she's placed in the 96th percentile based on our distribution. Now, there are two students who scored 80 points in the distribution. So these are the two students. So if we're going to be counting the number of students who scored lower than 80, we're not going to start here at the other 80. We're going to start at 70, 79. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 students whose scores is lower than 80. So for letter C, for the score of 80, we'll compute 12 all over 25, and 12 over 25 is 48 or 0.48. So that means the percentile rank of the students who scored 80 is going to be 48 percentile. Or in the distribution, let's say this is 50%. So 48 percentile means this amount of percentage, which is 48 percentile, is or has a score lower or the same as the students who scored 80. So this is a score of 80 giving 48 percentile. So that is basically how you illustrate and how you interpret the percentile of a given distribution. Now for number two, number two is relative to or related to uh, problem number one. In this particular problem, the day after receiving her statistics test results of 86 from Mr. Brown, Jenny earned an 82 on Mr. Hall's chemistry test. At first, she was disappointed because obviously 82 is lower than 86, but then Mr. Hall told the class that the distribution of sco score was fairly symmetric with a mean of 76, so the average is 76, with a standard deviation of 4. So in this particular information, on which test did Jenny perform better relative to the class? So if we're going to just um, compute for the percentage out of, of, out of 100, it's obvious that 82 is lower than 86. But if we're going to be computing for her percentile in chemistry and uh, statistics, we might be able to come up with a better conclusion as to which test did Jenny perform better to. So to do that, we are given the distribution of Mary's grade in chemistry, so let's write it down. So for number two, um, I'm sorry, this is Jenny. Jenny's score for chemistry, it's 82 with a normal distribution of 76 and 4. So 76 is the mean and 4 is the standard deviation or SX. And for statistics, she scored 86, but we don't know the mean and the standard deviation, so we need to compute for it so that we can compare the scores. So to do that, we go to list and we plug in all the values of the scores from the 25 students in Mr. Brown's class and compute for the mean. So stat, calc one variable stats for list one will give us the mean of 80. So Jenny's mean is 80 in stats and the standard deviation of 6.07. 6.07. So that would be the distribution which we're going to be using in computing for the z-scores. So the z-score formula is x minus mean all over the standard deviation. So the z-score will tell us the percentile or um, the distribution in uh, or the percentile in the distribution given by the mean and the standard deviation. So if we're going to compute for Jenny's z-score for um, chemistry, we'll have 82 
minus mean of 76 all over standard deviation of 4 will give us 82 minus 76 divided by 4, 1.5. So her z-score for chemistry is 1.5 and the z-score for statistics is 86 minus 80 all over 6.07 and using the calculator 86 minus 80 divided by 6.07 is 0 0.99 0.99 so in this case Jenny's z-score is higher in chemistry than statistics which means based on the z-score Jenny scored higher in uh, chemistry uh, compared to um, statistics relative to her classmates because if we're going to draw the distribution this is the z-score of zero and this is for um, chemistry and for stats 1.5 is this is one so this is let's say 1.5 this is the percentile rank of Jenny in chemistry and in statistics let's say this is 1 and 0.99 is somewhere here and this will be her percentile rank in statistics so it's obvious that based on the z-score Jenny scored higher in chemistry than statistics so Jenny did better in her chemistry class relative to her classmates with a z-score of 1.5 so this is how we answer problem number two and for problem number three in this problem we are given a distribution a dot plot and the numerical summary given by the mean the standard deviation the number of students the minimum maximum the quartile one and three and so on and in this case based on this information Lynette a student in the class is 65 inches tall let's find and interpret her z-score so in this case we're just going to be computing for the z-score by using the formula so z-score is given by the formula x minus mean all over the standard deviation x here will be Lynette's height which is 65 and the x-bar is also given which is 67 and the standard deviation which is 4.29 so if we're going to be computing for um, Lynette's z-score it will be 65 minus 67 all over 4.29 and to solve for her z-score 65 minus 67 divided by 4.29 is negative 0.46 negative 0 0.4 46 so this is Lynette's score which is below the mean which means her height is below average based on the 25 students included in this sample so that is Lynette's z-score now for letter B another student in the class Brent is 74 inches tall how tall is Brent compared to the rest of the class and give an appropriate numerical evidence to support your answer so in this case we're going to be using the z-score formula again but since Brent Brent's height is 64 so Brent would have an x value of 74 and the mean is still 67 and the standard deviation is still 4.29 so in this case so if the mean if we're going to draw a normal curve 
the mean is at 67 and Brent's height is 74 and this is Brent so that means um, this is his percentile so that means only a few students will be lower than or shorter than him and we're going to be computing for that value using the z-score formula which is equal to x minus x bar all over sx x is 74 minus 67 all over 4.29 and using the calculator we'll be able to find an actual value of his, of his z-score 74 minus 67 divided by 4.29 is 1.63 1.63 which means Brent Brent's height is above average because if this is our Z distribution or the normal distribution the Z score of 1.63 this say is 1 1.63 is somewhere here And this is Brent's height. So that means this much percent of st students, which is 25 students, is shorter than Brent. So we can say that Brent's Z score of 1.63 means his height is above above the mean And this is how we compute for the z-scores so we can use it as to interpret what or how Brent placed on uh, or his height placed re relative to his classmates so this is how we compute for the percentile given the raw data and given the mean and the standard deviation of our data set